Welcome back to the channel guys. Well, um, I'm here at mother's house today and there's the Triumph stag under the, uh, the car cover. It's been there uh, most of winter. Um, but I'm really impressed with the, uh, the, the, the car cover I got. Just check this out. Yeah, guys, this is, uh, it's, it was only 35 pounds off eBay and it does the job. It's all wrapped up, and this while I'm up, I'm here uh, just to change the oil in the Range Rover. Uh, mother's got to drive. I haven't. Oh yeah, let's see if she's. Yeah, I coated all this with the WD-40 to try and protect all the chrome. Um, I think we'll give it a start. Let it run for a while. It's just under here. It should be a. Where are we? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Just a little quick release. There we go. Yeah, for. For the money for 35 quid it's protected the car really well. Right, we've unhooked her. Let's have a see how she's doing in here. Right, so the last time I had this car started was about two months ago. It's been sat here. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to start. Very foggy today. Just showing you around. Right, let's see if this thing's going to start, shall we? <sighs> Hello, Mr. Trimstag. Let's soon be going to car shows again. Right, let's see if this thing's going to start. Prime the uh, the fuel. Can hear that. Give it some chalk. <laughs> Probably needs my big hoof on there. <clears throat> right, it should go now. Look at that. Fantastic, this car. Let's see how fresh you like. That's going up lovely. Look at that. Oh, I miss the sound of this car. doing a good job of protecting the car. Uh, 35 quid. Do me. people 
getting cars. Uh, you're supposed to let them warm up first before you rev the bollocks out of them. Right, you don't start a car up and start revving its ass off. It's a nice little clip, let's just put that choke in a little bit. looking for a try and stag. This one is sorted. I'm really looking forward to going to car shows this year as well. Um, the tyres have been really, really super car as well. Car drives lovely. Well while we're here guys we're uh, going to be changing the oil in my Range Rover. Supercharged. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and what to do, it's 5 litres, so I've left it far too long, um, last time I changed the oil was, I think I looked at my diary, it was about 28th of July, which is 7 months ago, I don't like leaving it that long, and it's clocked up 6,000 miles since my last oil change, so I need to get on to it, so let's get on with it. Listen to an owl burbling away. Anyway guys, back to the Range Rover. This is what I like to do. I like to put it on bricks and then put uh, the suspension in the high mode and uh, have a good look underneath the car because it's due for its MOT on the 27th of Feb. So yeah, let's try and get this on top of here. So as you can see guys, I've got it right up in the air, it's nice and high now, can you see, that's pretty good guesswork that. Alright, now I'll crack on with the oil change. Right guys, I always try to get a genuine oil filter from Jaguar Land Rover. Now the oil I use, let check this out, I've always used this oil and I used to have a Jaguar XKRS and I used the oil on that as well. So let's hope they've put the right oil in there. Let's me receive. Put that uh, blade, shut that blade before I cut my hands. Five twenty shell helix. Yeah, I've always used this stuff. Shell helix. I like shell oil. It's really good. <sighs> Takes about eight liters of oil. Once you fill the uh, the oil filler up as well. 
so yeah this is what we're looking at so if you're trying to look for this uh, bonnet catch on a Range Rover straight away just go precisely in the center of the car just behind the R press up and there she goes here we go then Let's have an inspection. The oil filter is really in there and it's a really easy one to get at. Um, but I'm wondering, have I got my special tool with me today? I don't want to go on for it. Look at that, that's fair a bit, isn't it? to have a good look around and inspect all the connectors that wasn't in there properly of the old oil out um, I don't, you can put a suction pump on it and suck the oil out um, but I don't like doing it that way you don't get every single last drop out of it which I'm quite in when it comes to uh, oil changes so this is what I'm carrying around most of the time in this Range Rover uh, it's mainly a van right um, if memory serves me correctly, it is 15 mil to take all the uh, the bolts out the under tray underneath. Just like that one. Right, have so I got a 15 mil spanner? you need to get two at the front yeah best way of doing this leave the middle one to last um, when you take these ring spanner on it I forgot my uh, special tool that fits on the top of here. Managed to crack it loose using one of them. I wish I put a rag around that now. It's a bit of a clean that up. So yeah, let's have a look at the oil filter. Ow. It's hot. Let's have a rag somewhere. Uh. Be buffalo kitchen. I'm trying to do two things at the same time. Hold the camera. Up. Just 
Put a bit of cloth down there. And a slight angle that looks it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Due a service though. Right, I'm gonna clean all that up with some cloth. Just put that on there like that, you know. Mm. Yeah, the buffalo, I found the buffalo kitchen bowl works really well for this. I'm just going to dip that in there just like that. And I'll let that soak that oil up. Okay. Right. Underneath, I think it's 13 mil. Show you where it is. There it is. There, can you see it? That's it. I don't need two hands for this because I don't want to round it off. Right, this is what I usually find the messy part. Let's see if I'm not going to get everything all over Mother's Drive. Should be the roof. Maybe I'll just let it dribble out for a bit. This way. Has to be quicker, yeah. Obviously, this oil is really hot. It goes, guys. Let's see how this is going to work. I think I'll do it like that for a bit. That's hot. Oh, you bastard. just slightly down on water again um, I think the water pump is slightly weeping um, oh my god yeah look at the play on that and you see guys look listen new water pump required Right, it's done 103,000 miles. Let's see how we do it. 
coming in here. Right guys, if you're thinking of buying a Range Rover L405, the high maintenance and the need regular maintenance, like oil changes every five to 6,000 miles, tops, don't let it go over to 10,000 or 15,000 miles, I sometimes recommend. No, 5,000 miles, change the oil. Um, just found out this thing needs a, a water pump. Uh, the car's done 103,000 miles now. I'll just show you. All right, we'll put a light on that so you guys can see. What I'm talking about. But you can hear it, listen. Play in there, there shouldn't be any play at all. Can you see that? There shouldn't be any movement in there. So that's the next job water pump. Should be fairly straightforward. You need the special tool to take the fan off. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting a Range Rover, you need to maintain them regularly because if you don't they'll bite you in the ass it's a belt slide i'm obviously going to change the two belts if i'm taking all that off so this, that's the reason why it's been weeping water and that's only going to get worse thing is i'm self-employed and uh i think uh, if i'm gigging on a weekend as well and we use this for gigs so I don't think we've got any long distance ones coming for a while. But can you imagine that going with a shitload of gear in a trailer behind you? Um, it's a really good uh, towing vehicle, this as well. Uh, the gear weighs about a ton, probably over a ton anyway. And then the weight of the trailer, it's a 10 foot by 6 foot by for Williams box trailer. And I'm averaging between 11 and 14 miles to the gallon. With four people in as well. So that's pretty good. But yep, yeah, next job on that will be a water pump. As you can see in there guys, it's all nice and clean. Um, what I like to do is put some fresh oil down there before I put the filter in. And then that just give it an added protection while cranking over for the first time. Well, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. There's the new filter. Make sure it's, uh, it's well seated in here. You'll hear a click and that's the right way around. Obviously that goes. And then we're gonna put it in. Right guys, all the joys of owning a Range Rover. So yeah, water pump next. Um, I'm gonna have to get that done in the next month. So it'll be a, a good video to do and show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, oil change done. And oh, like I say, it's like having a high maintenance girlfriend having a Range Rover. So bear that in mind. On that note, see you to the <laughs>